in my opinion, if you want to live in a boat, you need uh, three important elements. You need a good generator to produce AC power. You need fresh water system, perfect fresh water system, and you need a good water maker. In marine application, it's not longer used. Those type of uh, pipes with the glue it's not used in marine application because it's complicated. Uh, in marine application, you have a quick connectors. You release the pressure here, you introduce the pipe, and right now the pipe, only if you release the pressure over there, if you release the pressure over there, you can remove the pipe. You can use blue pipes for fresh water, cold, uh, cold water and you can use the orange one or red one for hot water hot water cold water we are going to analyze this specific system and uh, this is uh, uh, the field okay uh, suppose that uh, i have a we are going to imagine that uh, i have uh, the pedestal of uh, of uh, my boat over there and the boat in this moment is connected to the pedestal you remember that uh, the majority of the pedestal they have uh, in the bottom, the faucet for the fresh water. Okay, this is bad design. I don't like the fresh water uh, in the pedestal, in the electrical pedestal. And uh, outside, outside, uh, you have a uh, fresh water, hot fresh water, and this element here. This is the mixer. Yeah, you have a hot water and fresh water over there. That's simple. Because here you have a check valve. You see the check valve? You have a check valve over there. The water tank should be calculated according with the amount of uh, outlets, fixtures that uh, I want to connect. Depending on uh, the length of the boat, the manufacturer recommend the capacity of the water tank. Normally, uh, the water tank have an a special, a special compartment, a special locker located in between ball hats and stringers. In that area, in that specific area, the, the, the fresh water tank is located and the fresh water tank is calculated according with the length of the boat and the capacity of the boat. The pumps are rated in gallons per hour or gallons per minute, that's the flow, the flow of the pump in gallons per hour or gallons per minute and uh, the pumps are rated according with the pressure in psi important and the pumps are rated according with the head this is when you have the flow of water vertical the maximum distance that the water reach this is the head of the pump why in my home i don't have accumulator because uh, in, in your home, the pressure, the flow is constant from the municipal water and uh, you don't need accumulator, yeah? Normally, when, the, when the, the flow change or the pressure change, when you open a faucet in your home, you have uh, uh, too much bubbles of air coming out, but it's for, for a couple of seconds and after that, the pressure is uh, regulated and the system continue normal. In your boat, because uh, because uh, because the pressure and the flow is not constant, uh, you need uh, the pressure regulator. Okay, you need uh, that accumulator. The accumulator is like a chuck absorber, in order to avoid fluctuation, in order to avoid noise, in order to avoid vibration of the pipes in the boat. Right? And uh, if you have uh, more than four outlets, uh, you need a. Uh, uh, a uh, fresh water pump, on-demand fresh water pump, with a capacity of uh, more than four gallons uh, per, uh, per hour. Uh, that's not complicated. And uh, many galley pumps cannot be used with salt water. Ah, yeah, yeah, be careful with that. The fresh water pump is for fresh water, it's, for, it's not for salt water. Normally, those pumps, those pumps are, uh, there are different type of pumps. There are impeller pumps, uh, there are uh, diaphragm pumps, they are vein pumps, rotary vein pumps, and, uh, and uh, those pumps work completely different if the fluid is salt water. Uh, salt water damages everything. For that reason, 
the fresh water pump should be used with fresh water. If you use the fresh water pump with salt water, you damage the fresh water pump. Be careful with that and protect the fresh water pump. The most common problem when you install fresh water pumps is where is located the fresh water pump and uh, where is located with respect to the water line. Because uh, normally the problem is that uh, the, the fresh water pump uh, suction air or uh, the impeller of the fresh water pump is damaged because uh, it's working dry. Uh, yeah, the problem is locate the, the water line inside of the engine room and uh, verify where is the level and uh, according with that level you install uh, your, your fresh water pump. Uh, that recommendation is not only for the fresh water pump. You remember when we install engines and generators about the raw water pump? The raw water pump and the strainer should be located below the water line. And uh, we are going to use the same procedure uh, in air condition. Uh, the raw water pump for, uh, for uh, the condenser should be located below the water line. All the, 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 the pumps, fresh water pumps or raw water pumps, should be located below the water line to avoid inconvenience in order to keep the, the, the pump with water all the time. If the, if the pump is, is located below the water line, you are 100% sure that the water enter in the pump and in the pump and the impeller, the housing is full of water. That's, that's, a, that's the explanation about that. If you are the engineer of a boat, you need to be familiarized with the pressure of uh, those gauge, the pressure of the fresh water system. You need to be familiarized with a lot of uh, pressure gauge you remember the fuel pressure gauge in each engine. You need to be familiarized with the pressure of, uh, of those those gauge. You need to be familiarized with the with the gauge uh, of uh, the pressure of the fluid in between both uh, record Parker filters on diesel engine. You remember. You need to be familiarized with the pressure of uh, of the water in the fresh water system. You need to be familiarized with the pressure uh, of the water in the output of uh, the water maker. <coughs> you need to be familiarized with uh, a lot of. Uh, pressure gauge in different systems. You will be the engineer of the boat and you need to be organized. I recommend create a table in Excel and uh, with those pressures and, uh, and, uh, and uh, at the end of each day check the pressures with respect to the previous day. This is a good good uh, uh, good practice. Uh, one day you found it that uh, the pressure decreased in a couple of days and uh, with respect to the previous days and you can determine where is the problem. The fresh water pumps are on-demand fresh water pumps. The fresh water pumps could be 12 volts or 24 volts DC on-demand pumps like this. This is a diaphragm pump, 12 volts, and uh, this is uh, for 4.5 4 gallons per minute, 45 psi of pressure. If this is DC, the connection is simple, negative to the negative boost bar, and this one, the positive, pass through the fuse and enter in the breaker, in the breaker for fresh water pump. In other words, this pump receives constant power from the DC panel and the pump is activated, this is the pressure regulator, when the pressure in the system decreases the limit, 45 psi, uh, the, 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 the pressure switch activates the pump again and the pump starts until the pressure in the, in the system reaches the 45 psi. That's simple. This is uh, the pressure switch and internally is a diaphragm fresh water pump.